Justin, what is an exchange traded note? Yes, Andrew, I think the best way to start with the definition is to talk about um, ETPs, which is exchange traded products, because all of uh, the exchange traded notes and exchange traded funds fall under the exchange traded product aspects as per the JSE. Now, the, the most common way to differentiate an exchange traded fund and exchange traded note would be to look at the credit um, behind who is issuing the note. So if we look at an exchange traded note, for example, it is often issued or backed by a large bank or a specific uh, credit um, aspect that can be linked to it. So for example, if one looks at a note, it might be a note issued by a large bank, which is then listed. And generally speaking, the note would reference a specific return. The difference between that and an exchange traded fund is that in South Africa, a majority of the exchange traded funds would actually have and be backed by the physical stocks that are underneath that particular fund or bonds or whichever particular investment universe is you know, the, the, the uh, return building component. So when an investor buys an exchange traded fund, whether it's uh, you know, one of the ones that are listed in South Africa at the moment in the equity space or bond space, one would be getting a fund of equities. Now that's important to give, to give true return, whereas an exchange traded note would be a hedged note that is providing the return on the promise of the issuer. So in, in a better example, if for example, a large bank issued a top 40 exchange traded note, what they would do is they would provide the return and on their balance sheet, they would probably hold the stocks themselves and the return would then be transferred on the promise of that note at the credit risk of the issuer. So the difference is physical stocks held in a portfolio in the exchange traded fund and non-physical but an obligation by the issuer where one takes the credit risk of the issuer on the exchange traded note side. And that's a specific I would say at this stage, South Africanism. Um, internationally, there are different types of exchange traded products, but for the South African investor, that's the sort of look through we look at at the moment. 